Hiya and welcome to this video, part one, about Shrewsbury in Shropshire and the River Severn. Tis I, on another trip. What a trip. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to what will be a video of slide shots, photo mirage, and also video. Photo mirage is where you take a still shot like the background here and you make the water and the clouds move a little bit like here pirate ship and the water's moving not really it's just a mirage or here where the sky the clouds and some of these bushes are moving but they're not and the flag moving now now it's all photo mirage <laughs> I enjoy doing it it can get boring for most but not for me doing it now here the water and the clouds are moving all clever stuff <laughs> maybe even make my mouth move like now as though I'm talking <laughs> which I am but you get the picture and this is Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury and the water in the background is the River Severn it loops around Shrewsbury and you have an English bridge and a Welsh bridge and all other sorts of bridges in between. Stick with it and you'll see what I mean. Cheers! And here's a couple of canoers or kayakers and I thought that's normal so what I'm going to do is make them go backwards. <laughs> it just looked better. And that's the River Severn down below, and I'm up on a pedestrianised suspension bridge. Rather nice, and this is night time outside my hotel. I'm not saying the name, they don't pay me to advertise the Premier Inn. <laughs> and again, in the, the vicinity, and this fascinated me. It's an open-sided escalator and you can see all the workings of it and here we are back on the bridge again it's a long suspension bridge and it does shake MD, what if you're standing here shooting a video and somebody walks across it makes you shake oh look there's me home from home again the premier inn i wasn't here on a holiday really i was stuck here at a, a local clinic and these old places tilting forward are tilting forward. Quite scary. And this building was originally put up in 1596. A bit before my time even. A lot of history here and very old buildings. And You can never get fed up with Shrewsbury. And it is surrounded more or less by the River Severn. It's like a horseshoe going round the town. But there's always plenty to do and lovely walks and plenty to photograph or in my case shoot videos of. Just look at that building to the left, just tilting forward. This is Gullet Passage. I don't know what was wrong with somebody's gullet, but this is this passage. It's rather nice, nicely done out. Most of the place is... It's got a little bit of graffiti there, but it's not overdone in places. And you can see some of the buildings at the back are looking a bit more derelict than others. And an old gas lamp that's been converted to electricity. That's another one of the old buildings. And you can see there, 1907. Knocking on a bit. And this is the glorious River Severn. And this is Benbow's Wharf. And you can see the chains there. It's for fastening boats up all the way along. There isn't any here. I'm stood on the wharf, uh, this bit of concrete, shooting the video. And also my stills to make them move later. Although I can take stills from my videos because they're 8 megapixels. So they're big enough. And that's the water levels over the years in history. And you can see it starts off at four and goes up to five, six, seven in Roman numerals. It's been a lot higher than that. This is the bus station. 
think you can tell that with the buses. And oh look, there's the Premier Inn again. And Butcher Row. And there was no butchers there, but it's a lot steeper than it looks. And this is the old castle. And in here, there's Laura's Tower. That's Laura as in the lady, Laura. And I intend to get up there as well. This is a map of it. You can stop the video and see if you're interested. Obviously, the guns on the front are World War II. Plants are a bit more modern than that. But the guns were very interesting. I've had a good look round them, so and I've got videos of the plaques on them. So if you want to read the plaques, again, just stop the video. Look at the turntable underneath that. I wouldn't have liked to push that across country. <laughs> Oh look, there's me, myself and I. I haven't just come through that door, I'm pausing, the door's fastened firmly. <laughs> I just thought I'd get in on the act. You see, it's all very old. As you would expect for something built in the 15th, 16th century. Part of the original walls are still there. And there's different walks within the, the area. That's where I'm going, up there, up there, up round the corner, up there, more up there, up, keep going up, up, keep going up. You'll never get to Laura's Tower, you're nearly there. No, she's not through that door that's got scaffold. There's the tower in the distance. And again... I don't know what it was for. I haven't looked it up. I was going to Google it, but I couldn't be bothered. But what a lovely setup. Look at the staircases going up either side. Beautiful. And that's me stood up there, looking back down again. And it's got a view and a half. I can hear trains, and across to my right is the railway station. And these are different lines leading in and out of Shrewsbury. And there's a train. Of course it's a train. You know it's a train. You don't need me to tell you. <laughs> and there's no shortage, of sh sh no shortage of churches here. I got tongue-tied then. And there's the Union Jack. And that's the old eagle. Pinched from France or presented by France. <laughs> And there's the flag again. And this is the view from down at town. The water's behind me. The River Severn is behind me. So you can see the castle's practically on the river. That's a church for sale. I did ask the price. I thought that would make a smashing place to live. But they wanted too many zeros on the end of a hundred thousand. <laughs> and we duckies. Must be food there because they all had their heads down pecking. It's not deep, by the way. It's only about 18 inches at this side. A bit deeper in the middle for boats to pass, obviously. And there's Mr. Darwin at the Darwin uh, Shrewsbury Library. Yeah, that's the same Darwin that got the thing about relativity going saying it all happened such and such, everybody's an expert. <laughs> and that's the castle gates there. And there's another thing to do with Darwin, it's to do with DNA. And that apparently is the DNA sequence. Mm. <laughs> it looks like the, the backbone off a whale. If you want to read any of these signs I'm putting in, they're on the walks, but if you want to read them, just stop the video, you know that. And then I found this, not the old tree with the live bushes. Look, look who's driving it. An old English sheepdog. And I says, how are you doing, Jimmy? And he barked. 
And this is the slipway, obviously, right opposite the DNS thing to do with Darwin. And down there is the Welsh Bridge. You can count the arches. And there's five, and that spells Wales. And the English one's got seven. And guess what it spells? <laughs> and that's the theatre and St Mary's Church, the plaque in it saying that Mr Cadman decided to fly off the top of the church. <laughs> Seriously, stop it and read it. And he bumped down there. <laughs> that's where he landed up, obviously. <laughs> Nobody said he was the brightest bulb in the pack, yeah? In fact, nobody said anything about him. I can only tell you what I read. And I like that sign in the pub, on the pub. Drinkers wanted, please apply within. Lovely churches, inside and outside. No shortage. And I like that place, the Wiley Cop. And that lovely dock, lovely colours. Don't know what sort it is, but it certainly wasn't like the others. <laughs> and there's another one of them things you can stop and read. And you can see how the River Severn hoops around like a horseshoe around the town. And that's the Welsh Bridge again. No, it's not. It's the English Bridge now. <laughs> yeah. Definitely English, all the different arches. The seven arches spell England. E-N-G-L-A-N-D, that's the seven letters. And we're coming to, up to the escalators. I gallop down this one and I gallop up the next one. Not really, I just speeded it up. It was a bit different. And this is the Frankwell Pedestrian yeah, Suspension Bridge. And the, it does shake, I've said about it, but it does wobble and shake. This is one side, the other, the, the inside of the loop of the River Severn, and that's one of my feet that's going up there. And that's me on top of it. And any shaking is down to people walking past me, because no matter how you try to keep your camera steady, even on a tripod, it bounces up and down. It's <laughs> quite a weird effect. But it's very near the hotel I was using and it's very near the clinic hospital I had to go to, so suited me. And there's a nice GSD and here's a Labrador and they're all making good use of the water. That guy's going to get wet. Surely he must know what the dog's going to do. I knew. That's why I stood there taking a video. <laughs> And that's another one of the bridges. There's no shortage of them. And this one caught my eye because of the guy way in the distance hanging his washing out. You don't see that often. I'm not being sexist. You just don't see it often. And this is Poplar Island. It's not really an island. But it does flood. I had to come here a few years ago. And you can see on the map there it's surrounded by water. And this is the indoor market. Downstairs and upstairs. And it's well worth a visit if ever you're in Shrewsbury. And this is one of the streets through the main town. And you've got a mixture of buildings, as you can see. You've got all done new. Makes it interesting. Some of the old ones are really scary because they're hanging over about 18 inches to, well, two feet, some of them. Surprise me. It's only when you look up you realise the overhang. And this is bare close or bare lane or something. Look at them all. There. Look at how they lean in. Because <laughs> you've got to remember people used to open the door and tip their um, sewage out into the middle of the lane, which is why they overhung the lane probably. That's bare steps. And this is what you see when you get up the back. There's the steps again, looking down. And we're near the end of part one. Uh, if you want to go and see part two, then look for it. It won't be far away from this part one. <laughs> and on one of them, I'm on a boat sailing the River Severn. 
and that's well worth a, a look at. That's quite good. Anyway, that's it. See you in a wee minute. Cheerio the now.